What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we are back again unboxing another Loot Crate, baby. Yes, that's right. So I just got this bad boy in the mail. I believe this is the October edition Loot Crate, and uh, we've been unboxing these things for the past couple of months now. You guys have really been enjoying it, so I figured why not keep a, uh, a good thing rolling. So uh, this box is themed all around time. So uh, you know, I'm really kind of expecting to see some Back to the Future stuff in here. I love those movies, and we actually just had like the official day like a couple of weeks ago. It was uh, October 21st, I think it was. So, uh, you know, obviously that was pretty cool. Unfortunately, we don't have, you know, hoverboards and stuff like that. We're, we're kind of failing that department, but uh, it's, it's still pretty awesome. It should be good, and I'm excited to, uh, to hop into this thing. So, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Gonna pop the tag right there, and here we go, boys. We are gonna open this thing up. I'll let you guys see it first. We did that last week. You guys seem to enjoy that. And I'm not gonna look, I'm gonna tilt it for you guys. Can you see it? I don't even know if it's in frame. It's a little above. Boom, there it is. All right, so we're gonna hop straight into this thing. So, oh wow, it looks like we're getting a t-shirt this uh, this month. So this is actually kind of cool. Loot Crate t-shirts are usually super exclusive. So it's stuff that like people will see with that shirt and they'll be like, they'll be like, you know, where'd you get that? And so uh, you can be like, you can't get it anymore. Like you can't buy it on the like, store shelves. There's nowhere that sells it online, stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. So let's check this thing out first. It looks like we have uh, Be Excellent two weeks. Okay, so this is from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I've actually never seen any of the, uh, the Bill and Ted movies. I've heard good things about them. I've just never watched them. I think they're from like the late 80s, early 90s, so it's a little bit before my time, but uh, it's still pretty cool, and honestly, there's probably no excuse not to see them. So if you guys want to get a close-up of this shirt here, you guys can see it there. It's, uh, man, I, I feel like this shirt kind of matches my eyes, wouldn't you guys agree? So, uh, yeah, there we have it. We have a, uh, an exclusive t-shirt from Loot Cray right there. Alright, so, next up, it looks like we have a Pop Funko figure. So, these are like little figures, they're all over the place. You can get them, you know, themed around all kinds of different, uh, kind of pop culture things. You know, everything from Star Wars to this one right here is number 236, Back to the Future. And it looks like we've got the Doc, baby, Dr. Emmett Brown. Uh, it looks like, oh wow, okay, so we could have gotten Marty McFly or Dr. Emmett Brown uh, from, uh, from this box. We got the doc, though. I think that's pretty awesome. And these are, this is definitely like a, a collectible thing. Like there, there's no way you want to, uh, to even open this, really. I'll probably keep this in the box and maybe it'll be worth something someday. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's, that's pretty cool. We got a, a nice little character we can set up in the office and uh, remind us of those Back to the Future movies. So uh, anyway, moving on, it looks like next up, let's take a look at this pen here. Is the official Loot Crate pin uh, of the month. You guys can see it says, I love you on it, which is, uh, is kind of cool. October 2015, the time box. So uh, that's pretty sweet. Next up, what is this thing here? Oh gosh, we had something come up. Uh, BBC Sonic Spork. The Doctor Who Sonic Spork Loot Crate exclusive. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have not seen Doctor Who. I really don't even know what this show is about. Obviously, it's got you know time travel themes and stuff in it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in this box. I've heard good things about it, but I, I don't really have a lot of time to watch TV. Like The last series I watched all the way through was probably Breaking Bad. And uh, you know, it's just like YouTube sometimes. It gets crazy. I don't have a lot of time to watch TV shows, and I really miss it. But uh, this is, uh, this is actually pretty cool. It's, it's, it's literally a, a spork. Like, I, I don't remember the last time I saw a spork. You guys remember getting sporks in, like, elementary school and maybe even in, like, middle and high school with your, like, lunches and stuff and, like, the little plastic packs with the napkin and stuff? What do you even use a spork for? Like, see, like, what, what type of food do you need a spork? Like, it, I, I'm thinking, like, eat cereal, but then I just feel like I'm going to stab myself. I, I like, I, I don't know the point of a spork. I guess... Maybe I'm asking the wrong question. Maybe what type of food can you not eat with the spork? I guess that could be a better question because you technically could eat anything. But I just, I never really understood the need for a spork. So if you guys have a food in mind that really, really needs a spork, let me know because I'd like to, uh, to understand what the point of this, uh, this eating utensil is. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's an exclusive. And uh, if you're a fan of Doc 2, uh, I'm sorry because I probably am insulting you right now. But anyway, so let's move on. Oh my gosh. All right, I even mentioned this at the start of the video. Hoverboards, baby, here we go. We have a Back to the Future Part Two, one to five scale replica hoverboard. No way, dude. All right, we're gonna open this thing up. All right, so we have a little card in here. It says, this document certifies this one to five scale replica of the Back to the Future Two hoverboard was created by Quantum Mechanics Inc. under license from Universal Pictures exclusively for Loot Crate. 
That is pretty cool. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. Oh, oh no way, dude, this is sick. It's the actual board. And it's on like a, uh, a little stand here. Holy cow, that is awesome. So if you guys can't tell, I, I really love hoverboards. Like I, I love the idea of a hoverboard. I've wanted a hoverboard ever since I was a kid. I think it's the coolest thing ever. And uh, we're really like, I feel like we're starting to get close with like the, um, the fly boards that have the water that shoot out of them. And then the, uh, the, the, they made like quad boards ones where it's like a quad rotor drone that can push you up in the air. But as of right now, really the only thing that's available to, uh, to the public and like the, the you know, normal people are the, uh, the little Swagway hoverboards. And that kind of reminds me of probably my favorite pastime to do now. than chasing those dogs around in that thing. Like it's just, it's so much fun. If I'm having a bad day or I'm stressed out or I'm worried about something or just want to have some fun, I do that. It, like you, you chase them around, they get all freaked out and run and then you turn around and they'll chase you back and stuff like that. It's just, it is a ton of fun. I even use it to take Cooper on walks sometimes. Like obviously sometimes I'll walk myself to get some exercise, but he loves going on that thing because he gets to run and try to keep up and stuff like that. So uh, those things are just, they're a ton of fun and I'm hoping that one day we can have a legitimate hoverboard. Like, I would absolutely love that. It's been a dream since I was a child, and uh, you know, hopefully it can come true one day. But anyway, let's get to the rest of this box. So let's move this stuff here, and it looks like that was actually it. That was it. So this is the, uh, they always come with like a, a magazine type thing that uh, kind of details everything that happened uh, in the box and all the different things you got and stuff like that. And uh, then you can actually, you can unfold the box and kind of turn it inside out and uh, this is another, you know, kind of like Bill and Ted's excellent adventure type thing, which like I said, I haven't seen the movies, so I can't really, you know, tell you guys what that's about. But anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. That was this month's Loot Crate. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out Loot Crate for yourself, I've got a link down in the description. LootCrate.com slash Tmartin saves you 10% off of your orders, so uh, obviously that's pretty good. And uh, let me know what you guys think about it. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to Loot Crate for, uh, for hooking it up. And uh, I will see you guys later. Peace out.